fried banana is so good. Welcome to Esmeraldas, Ecuador. I'm here at Las Palmas Beach. It's a developed beach area just outside of Esmeralda City, and it is beautiful here. So you may have heard that Esmeraldas, the city, might not be the best to go eating in or perhaps visit, but this area is actually quite safe, and it's really beautiful to have a beach day. wondering Angelina what are you doing you rarely go eat in beachfront places you're usually in the thick of the city and that's because rules here are a little bit different number one I think you need to be a local to travel in places like Esmeralda's Guayaquil Quito to know where are the good neighborhoods and where to stay away we did have a list of places that potentially we might want to eat in a city, but when we parked here, Andreas actually spoke to the parking attendant and said, hey, what's the city like? Would it be okay for us to go and eat in? And he said, well, things are difficult right now. And so that is enough for us to know we're going to stick to the good spots. I know there are a lot of YouTubers who like to go in like the most dangerous spots in some countries. That's not it. I want to share with you the possibility of coming to Esmeraldas, this beautiful province, and having a wonderful time. You do not need to put your life in jeopardy. You don't have to worry about being robbed. You can come here and have a wonderful time. And eat good food too, because that's what we're here for. Now, cooks from Esmeraldas are known to have some of the most skill. They don't use recipes. They just know how to cook. They make it by heart. They don't measure. And so, if there's a cook from Esmeraldas anywhere else in Ecuador, usually at a restaurant they will tell you because they have a special saison. They have that magic touch. And so we are here on a gray day, but who cares if it's gray because the food's still here. And then up top here, there are a number of bars and coffee shops. So a little too early for these places to be open. All right, so the first thing we wanted to try here was Ballon de Camarón. So a Ballon de Verde, which is mashed plantains, uh, often made into a ball with cheese. Sometimes it has chicharrón in it, but here in Esmeraldas, instead of chicharrón, which is a fried pork skin, they actually use pork. However, today we are getting seafood, Ballon de Camarón, or shrimp. So excited. And it looks like it might actually come in like a soup or like a sauce. We're gonna check it out. However, I will say this, we went to a small shack here. So there are lots of different places to eat. So there are restaurants as soon as you get in and then there are a lot of little shacks. And then um, one of the shacks that we went into, they didn't have bologna, but they did have corviche, but they weren't open yet. So he pointed us down this way. And this place looks like an outdoor mall. It's really quite lovely. Upstairs, you've got lots of like bars and coffee shops and little um, piqueos or like a, almost like a tapas or like just snacks that you would have with drinks. And then we found this place, it's called Ensaboyado y Picanteria La China. And so we decided to get the balloon here. She was so nice. Now, we've only been here a couple days, but every time we ask about coffee, and if coffee is pasado or filtered coffee, they say, no, it's instant. But she did say, oh yes, it's instant, but it is national, which was actually quite funny. Anyway, we decided to stay here. Very clean, nice. This place is really nice. Now there are not a lot of people around right now, but the sun looks like it might come out. We might see some sun today. Trying my first Bologna de Camarón. It looks so good, definitely enough for two people. We are sharing this. This is $5, the coffee was 50 cents each, and when they served it, they gave us a little bit extra sauce, and they said it's encocado sauce, which is a coconut sauce, and she made sure to tell us that it was only coconut. Some people try to cheat it with a little bit of milk, but this is all coconut. And I can see why she gave us extra sauce, because the plantain, really soaks this up. Mm. 
Mm. It just feels so good. <laughs> really fresh shrimp flavor. You get that coconut. This plantain is smooth, but still not too mashed. Mmm. There are two different types of things that you can put on it. Well, actually a few things. I'm gonna put some of this plantain, shrimp, onion, a little bit of lime. I'm gonna get rid of that seed. Making a mess here. And some ahi. Oh God, this is even better. These onions, so good, the lime juice. Everything is just off to a really good day. So today, the sun might come out, but we're gonna show you what to eat in Esmeraldas. Five things, at least. Maybe seven things, if I'm really hungry. We'll see how it goes. Hot dog, two dollars, three fifty. Burgers for two twenty-five. That's very reasonable. Yeah, for sure. Now I have been eating all around Ecuador, and I don't like to play favorites. I don't like it. However, usually when we travel, we have to do a little bit of research. We have to ask around. Where is the best place to get this? Where is the best place to get that? Sometimes we eat in a place that's not very good. In Esmeraldas, we have not had a bad meal. Everything has been amazing. Not just good, but amazing. I think Esmeraldas might be the best region for food in Ecuador. Here, you can't get a bad meal. You ask people, where should I get this? Where's the best place to get that? And people say, oh no, everywhere, everywhere is great. I didn't believe them, but now I'm a believer. Okay, so before this was a beachfront development, this was land that was owned by a naval shipbuilding company. So in Canada, we would call that a crown corporation. It was technically a land owned by the government. And 10 years ago, they decided, you know what? This is prime land. We should give it to the people. Let's build them something nice. I really like this because we're in Tonsupa, which is beautiful, not as developed, but also it's like an hour away for people to get to. This is close, so people at the city can actually come down and enjoy the beach. They don't have to go too far. So you don't see a lot of people actually swimming here. There are a few people in the water, but not very far. But we've got some cheerleaders over there, and it looks like uh, there's gonna be an adult soccer tournament here, or football tournament here this afternoon, which could be cool. And then at the very end of the beach, you've got this stretch of comedores. That's the good stuff. We're gonna see what they've got. Okay, so we had fantastic food in the well-established spots, and now we walk to the end of the beach. We found the comedores. We could hear them yelling, venga, 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 to Andreas, and got two bites. So corviche I had in Ayampe. It was fantastic. This looks a little bit different, but it is the same dish. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's good. <laughs> yep, you can taste a little bit of fish. The pickly cabbage really cuts it. Mmm, and this mayo. This is so good. I love corviche. When you come to the coast, it's a fantastic snack. Very filling because of the plantain. You've got the fish, the mani, the peanut, and then let me tell you, this parsley mayo, this fresh herb mayo is fantastic. All right, the second dish I've also tried before, but on the southern part of the Ecuadorian coast, and it is called Maduro Lampreado. Now, Maduro Lampreado is sweet plantain that's battered and fried. Fried banana is so good. Mmm. Not too sweet, creamy inside, crunchy on the outside. Both these dishes were 75 cents. Such a steal. 
All right, so now we're at a restaurant called La Barca, and we're here for a very traditional dish from Esmeraldas called Ensumacaro. However, here I've noticed that they also drop their Ds like they do in Cuba. So they spell it on the menu Ensumacao, which is just like this. Oh, and here we go. It is huge. Wow. $15 considering how affordable food is here in Esmeraldas I'm guessing it's because it just has number one the size but also it has so much seafood in it we saw it for $18 at another spot and I think it's pretty standard that this is uh, a pricey dish because the ingredients are such high quality they're all from here also if you've never had rice on the coast Ecuadorians from all over, especially from the Andes, really covet white rice here. They think it tastes different. Now, I am not a rice connoisseur, so I don't taste the difference. But Andreas, when he eats rice here, just always raves about how much better it is, how people here really know how to cook rice. This is definitely a family-sized dish. This is like four people. It's got this creamy sauce. I can smell the peanuts. I'm gonna try the sauce first. Mmm, yeah, it definitely has like a deep, rich, peanutty sauce, not like peanut butter. Right now I've got seafood and I think that might be a little bit of fish. Mm. It's interesting, it reminds me of the corviche because corviche has that sauce of money or peanut and is warm and creamy and peanutty. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm enjoying this, but it's like sometimes you have beautiful seafood and you just want to let that flavor shine instead of putting something on it. Mm. Seafood is cooked so well. Mm. I think it's definitely worth trying. If you've got a group, come here, get it. If you're an individual, no way you're gonna get through this. It is this massive, generous portion of this, and then we've got a whole plate of rice and patacones to get through. Immediately, Andrea's added some lime, some mahi, ate it with some rice. He is a huge fan of this. I'm still a fan. He's just a huge fan. I have limitations. And one of those things is I don't like heavy sauces on my seafood, but he doesn't think it's heavy at all. And I have to say that the lime really helps it. We almost picked up a bottle of this, um, I think it was liqueur called Don Coke, or in English, Don Coke. And they couldn't quite explain it to us, but it is a specialty from here. But it's like, it's kind of like Bailey's that is made out of coconut water. So it's like a coconut liqueur. We didn't get it because it was so sweet. They said it's very sweet, ready to drink, but not a fan of sweet. Also, it's supposed to be cold and they didn't have it cold, but they were very sweet to try to explain to us what this drink was. I don't know how popular it is, but it is from Esmeraldas. I love this. Like the beach just becomes this big recreation area and everybody comes down, it's awesome. So this looks like a gentleman's league. Oh man, half of it is in the mud, like in the wet sand, this is tough. to see this going on at the beach here. Esmeraldas is known as the home also of the best soccer players in all of Ecuador. You'll find that most of the national team is from Esmeraldas and then they actually go along to Europe and become very famous there. So not a lot of people know about Ecuadorian soccer players but most of them are from here. And then I know everyone wants to know, what is the beach like? A lot of people out today, so there's some garbage, 
but we do see a lot of people picking it up. So I would say this is a beach where people do take care of it. We see people holding their garbage and looking for a garbage can. And that is amazing. If only Plyus could learn from that, it would be fantastic. All right, so we are full. We're very full. We're trying to get to the fifth thing to eat here, but we had to take a break. So we're back on the beach. There are two beach bars right beside each other. One only serves beer. The other also serves alcohol. So we got a caipirinha, and it is with aguardiente lime. It looks fantastic. They both play music really loud despite being beside each other, so. You could probably hear both songs at once. Mm, that's a generous amount of aguardiente. This is nice. One thing I did want to mention though is that despite this being a Saturday and so many people on the beach, I don't think maybe we've seen one person that was drunk. Everybody else, there's not a lot of alcohol on the beach. Mostly families, very laid back. It's actually quite a nice beach. They have things Nobody's like out of control or we haven't seen any issues. It's quite nice. We are one of the few people in the bars actually having alcohol. All right, so we're back to Ensamboyados y Piqueteria La China. And that is because the first meal was so good and we know today that she has Sancocho de Pescado. Now, Sancocho in other regions is usually chicken, beef, bones. This one, because we're on the coast, it has fish. Which kind of fish? Oh, and here it comes. This is a huge plate. It's $8. They did warn us in advance because $8 is probably more on the expensive side, but for me, a whole fish, langostina. This authentic dish, worth $8. There's also a plate of rice with patacones. Now, this is a whole fish that has been cooked in a base of green plantain and yuca, and then also a basil called chiraram. Um, in Ecuador, there's actually a number of different kinds of basil. So this is one of them that's local to the area. You can see it on top. I'm just gonna try this sauce first. It almost looks like a gravy. Ooh! It tastes like there might be some mani in here, but then there's also this acidity to it that is different than what I had earlier with the mani where it was heavy. It's like there's something in this that gives you a little tartness. Oh yeah! It's good. If you come here and can only eat at one place, this is the place to eat. The food here is delicious. Oh, and by the way, the fish, red snapper. It's like saucy, but still light. I think they put some lime into it. It's like they don't, they do everything you need. You don't have to add anything to it. There were no accompaniments like in Saboyado or lime because they've seasoned it perfectly. We are finally leaving Playa Las Palmas. Guys, this was amazing. Amazing people, amazing food, very chill. This is one of my favorite places in Ecuador, for sure. Highly recommend it. What are you most excited about? Uh, Chantaduro, actually. <laughs> That's <laughs> mine. <laughs> so this is Chantaduro which is a food traditionally in Colombia, but because we're so close to the border, there's a lot of Colombian food here, as well as Colombian fruit. They make this paleta, it's artisanal, they make it from scratch. Okay, interesting flavor. It's almost like the egg fruit a little, it's got like a little bit of an eggy. Oh good, but the best part of getting something is Find someone else's. This is spicy mango. 
Wait, you know, spicy mango is gonna be great. A little bit Mexican. Oh, it is spicy. Mmm. Oh, this is good. How do you like that chantadoro? No, I like it. Mmm. Spicy mango is so good. <laughs>